Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxus, continuing on my series where we're building up a space combat prototype. And this video is not going to be much of an update. What I am doing this time is kind of starting to work on the enemy ship. Um, and the point of the enemy ship is actually not to build up enemy AI yet. This is actually also building up our system for controls and trying to smooth that out. Because I figure, you know, we're going to have to chase ships and shoot them out of the sky might as well be able to follow them pretty well without having much difficulty and as you can see right here I actually am having difficulty I just lost the ship I was trying to chase so oh there it is anyway um, in this ship what I've created is just another script that basically acts exactly like um, my player ship but the biggest difference is I'm just giving it a constant input for left and right and with that input um, it's just going to go around in a circle basically. Uh, it's going constantly pulling back, constantly turning forward, and it always has the same thrust. It's always applying uh, a th certain thrust value. And the point of it is just to see can I follow the ship effectively? Can I shoot at it? Am I any good at it? And as you can see, I'm not. So that tells me that there's a lot of work to be done. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the script of what I've created so far. And effectively, all it is is the, is the you know, our player's ship almost the exact same code except you know we don't have thrust we just have um, our roll and pitch set to constant values we're always rolling we're always pulling back and we're always applying a thrust so it's kind of moving slowly and we can shoot at it so in a future video I'm actually gonna uh, put up some code that's actually gonna do some logic for this and when you have two scripts that basically do the same exact thing what you would normally want to do is create a class uh, or in this case really an abstract class and what an abstract class is is a uh, class that doesn't get instantiated you can't actually create a create that class it's a class that you have to make children of and the children can get instantiated um, so in this case we would make one class to control the ships and then we would make other classes control those ships so um, in this case we would want to have an AI controlling an enemy ship and we would want to have a player controlling our ship but they'd be the same ship controls and we would just be applying different input values for them and so that way you can actually create a consistent experience let's say that you have ships that can move at certain speeds and move in certain ways um, instead of just telling the AI turn the ship and then saying you gotta follow these rules to turn the ship you've actually telling the AI you have an input and you can interface with that ship in some way um, not to say we're using an interface, we're just using an abstract class. Um, but anyway, that's the short of it. And I'm not really going to post this uh, as a big update. So, you know, next time we'll actually probably have some real code that can show us how the, the uh, ship is moving. And I think that may not even be the next video. The next video we're probably going to be focusing on refining some of those controls. I'm not sure what direction I'm going to take with it yet. Um, I may end up deciding that it'll be way more fun to have the ship actually moving around and shooting back at us um, and if that's the case I may do that instead it just kind of depends so if you'd like to see one or the other uh, let me know what you'd like leave a comment and uh, I'll, I'll try and go with that route instead because there's a lot of ways we can go now we're starting to expand our game bit by bit you know one video at a time uh, and getting through it but you know just to kind of show you what's going on here you can see really easily uh, we've got a little bit of stuff starting to build up starting to look like something we can actually play um, but for now, uh, we got a lot of improvements we could certainly make. And you can see my lasers don't even hit them. It's just, uh, you know, they'll go right through them. But anyway, having some fun here now. Hopefully we can get something that's actually kind of enjoyable and beady. Uh, sometime we're going to start focusing on the effects when things hit, what happens when they hit, working on health. Uh, and bit by bit, it's going to be several, several videos. So hope you stick around for the ride. Thank you guys for watching.